we recently celebrated a holiday where we wore three colors and maybe you saw some really cool things in the sky. Fireworks? Okay, does anyone know what holiday that was? Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Yeah. Great. Okay. So there were fireworks and you know you celebrate our we celebrated our country's independence. And so today I brought something that you may not know what this is, but does anyone know what this might look like? A firework. Yeah. Sorry. We had to figure out what it was before we came here. <laughs> so anyways, it's a it's a pretend firework. It's not real. I made it. It's why you blow up on me. But um it has a fuse. And so what happens is when you um, when you light this, then the fire goes down here and it sets the um, like gunpowder stuff on fire and then it goes up and it blows up really big, right? It's really, really neat looking. Okay, so, what? You put the fireworks in the potato chip factory, right? Yeah, that was cool. Okay, so I want you to pretend that you're a firework. Okay, so we're all gonna crouch down. And what does it sound like when you think a firework? Like if you're, yeah. Like, okay, so we're gonna pretend. Okay, <laughs> crouch down. We're gonna jump up when we when we explode. We're gonna jump up. Okay. Why don't you, you and Kendall and Maggie, step down the steps so that we don't have anybody fall. Okay. So when I say three, we're gonna we're gonna light our fuses, our pretend fuses, and we're gonna. We're gonna go and then we're gonna blow up, okay? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> right? That's what happens, right? Okay, so Pastor Ku's gonna talk to us today about being patient. Does anyone know what it means to be patient? You have to wait. That's right. <laughs> you have to wait. And so, um, if you break it open. Okay, so you have to wait. And you so wait. <laughs> I'm sure that this doesn't happen at anyone's house but ours, but sometimes people get angry. Am I angry? <laughs> and some, sometimes people might, you might hear somebody say, you have such a short fuse today. And that means it doesn't take you very long to get upset, right? So in the Bible, it says, um, uh, It says that we're not supposed to be angry, that some of the fruits of the spirit are kindness, gentleness, and patience. And so when we are fighting with our sisters or our brothers, sometimes we have a short fuse and we get angry, right? Or sometimes if like, sometimes if your mommy, I know this, I, I'm guilty of this. Sometimes if I tell my kids more than one time to do something, sometimes I get like real snippy, like, come on, let's go. And that makes me sound like I have a snippy to me. Oh. <laughs> to remember to not get angry and not have a short fuse. Because who are we supposed to be following the example of? Who do you God. think? God, that's right. And so do you think God has a short fuse and gets angry with us real quick? Or do you think he has a really long fuse? Okay. And so, yes, that's right. No, our God is very patient. In the Bible it says that love is patient and kind. God is love and he is very patient. And this is what it says in Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 17. You are a God of forgiveness, gracious, and merciful, slow to become angry, and full of unfailing love and mercy. God is slow to anger and has a very, very long fuse. So we're going we're gonna to see how long we think God's fuse is. This is just an example. It's much longer than this. But Kendall, will you take this? And will you, will you slowly walk to the end of the, uh, the church and see if you can how long it might be. Okay, Kenny, do you want to do it? Thank you for playing. Okay, so we'll see. Oh, go ahead. Nice and slow. Cool. Keep going. I, I think there's still a fuse left. Okay, well, I'm hoping to Oh, I broke it. But you get it, right? God has a very, very long fuse. See? And, and no matter what we do, even if we think God is going to be angry with us, he's not. He loves us, 
and he never, you know, he's always there for us. So we're going to say a little prayer and then we'll go back to sleep, okay? Dear Lord, we thank you for these children and we thank you that you've given us the fruits of the Spirit to follow and, and to try and live by. And we just thank you for always loving us and never getting angry with us. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you.